let's talk about one of the most amazing chemical processes that we have been performing for centuries and still do not completely understand. The magic world of bread. Taking simple wheat and water and a few other basic things like salt. This is brioche, which has milk and sugar in it as well, so it's a little sweeter. And this is how we are going to start our French toast. We have a fresh loaf today, so what we need to do is we're gonna cook it in the oven for a little bit to dry it out, so that way it will not be as moist as it currently is, and it will absorb even more milk and sugar and cinnamon flavors that we put into it when we make our French toast. And then with it sitting in the oven, it is going to dry out all of these open pores so that way it will be less moist and it will be ready to absorb even more moisture when we make our batter. Alrighty, now on to the next part, which is the French toast batter. We're going to start with some moisture, which is milk. Depending how much milk you put in is going to depend on how many people you got and how many French toasts you're going to make. We put in about two cups of milk, so we're going to add two whole eggs. You could add egg whites if you would like to and whip the egg whites before you put them into the milk. So that's kind of bougie and I don't necessarily need to do that right now. We're also going to add some sugar. Oh yeah, lots of that. About a half a cup of sugar, a little bit more if you want to. A Mexican cinnamon stick. So Mexican cinnamon and Indian cinnamon have different qualities. As you can see, this one is much less dense of a bark from the tree and it breaks apart and therefore it has different flavors than the Indian cinnamon. The Indian cinnamon is more of a savory flavor uh, along with many other flavors, but the Mexican cinnamon is a little sweeter, so it works great for French toast. We have all of our ingredients into the batter now, and we're just gonna start whipping them up. The big part is we wanna break the egg yolks, and we want to start and mix everything together. You can see some bubbles are forming on the surface, and that's where this whole thing is getting aerated. So when you use a whisk, you are incorporating air into the batter, making the whole thing lighter, and also making it fluffier and more distributed, so that way all of the flavor is in each part of the liquid going into the batter. We have our batter pretty much mixed up, and now we are going to add our French toast to it when it comes out of the oven. So our batter has started to separate a little bit, so we're gonna go ahead and whisk him up again, and then we're gonna start dipping our French toast into him and cooking him. So we got everything mixed up again, get some of those bubble back. Now we have our nice crispy bread hard. We're gonna dip him in. We're gonna bring this mixture over to the flat top. We have just oiled the flat top, so there is a lot of uh, lubrication between the bread and the flat top surface. We're gonna drive some of this off, pull it out. Oh yeah. Take our next one in. It's very important that you have the surface that you're using to cook the French toast in hot already. So you wanna have your pan, you can cook this in a pan at home on a, on a grill or a, on top of your oven, but you'll only be able to cook a few at a time. So just put one French toast in, get it real nice and hot with that oil. Oh yeah, that's a big old piece of French toast. Now we're gonna pull them out, pull some of the moisture out. And you can see that our batter has already severely gone down. So a lot of the batter has been absorbed into this bread. The browning is extremely important whenever you're cooking because it shows that you have such a high temperature that the chemical process is actually changing and there are flavors that are caramelizing and moving around inside of the French toast right there on the surface. Alrighty, so we are cooking our French toast. It is time to go ahead and flip him right on over. Boom. Whoa! 
still a little flaky on that one. Boom. Boom. And, well, he's probably gonna have to go into my belly. That one won't look pretty, but hey, you gotta make a mistake every once in a while. We'll finish that French toast in just a second. All right, we are almost ready to finish that French toast. Here's that shitty one that I made. We'll pop him off to the side. Oh, baby, good time. Boom. All right, so we're gonna take this bad boy, cut him down like that. Boom. Boom. Ooh, give me some of that sugar love. This'll keep you going all day long. We got that mint goodness coming right here. Bada bing, bada boom. And you are ready for that sugar train. Mmm, keeps you going. Sugar is a great thing. A lot of different ways it can be changed, but sugar is naturally occurring in every fruit, and it's that little boost of energy that gets you moving. Don't be afraid of it, just don't have too much at once, if you know what I'm saying. 